Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and I am trying to make a video, but I have a cat trying to jump on my keyboard. I'm sure some of you know how that feels, but if my cat will allow me to, I'm going to tell you how to find the domain of rational functions. Let's look at this problem from your homework r of x, that's what they're calling the function, rational function, equals 8x over x minus 12. This is what we need to do to find the domain, and here's their answer. Okay, I'm going to explain what that means. To find the domain, first find the numbers that must be removed from the domain because they make the denominator equal 0. Well, look at the domain, x minus 12, for that to equal 0, that is not the domain, look at the denominator, for this x minus 12 to equal 0, x has got to equal 12. So 12 is the number we have to take out of the domain. After we do that, the domain is every other number on the x-axis, just not 12. Okay, so the domain is this, and what that says is, all right, this x says all of the numbers, well, first, these squiggles are braces, and they show that we're dealing with a set, and the set we're dealing with is all of the numbers on the x-axis. That's what this x means. This vertical bar means such that, and here we have next x does not equal 12. So what this is saying is uh, the domain is going to be the set of all the numbers on the x-axis that don't equal 12. Or another way you could say it would be the set of all the numbers on the x-axis except 12. All right, the next problem. Here we have negative 5x squared over x minus 4 times x plus 5. To find the numbers that have to be taken out of the domain, set each of these factors on the bottom equal to 0, and then solve. You'll get x equals 4. Here, x minus 4 equals 0, so x equals 4. x plus 5 equals 0, so x equals negative 5. These are the numbers that must be taken out of the domain. The domain is the set of all the numbers on the x-axis that remain. So we have the set of all the numbers on the x-axis such that x doesn't equal 4 or negative 5. And that's what this means. Uh, this shows you've got a set. This shows you've got the set of all the numbers on the x-axis, and this shows you have the set of all the numbers on the x-axis except, or such that, x does not equal 4 or negative 5. Kind of ran out of room there on the bottom. But that's all this is saying, and that's how you find the denominator, uh, the domain, of a rational function, and here we're writing in something called set builder notation. There's another way to write it, but it's not the way your book writes it, so we're not going to talk about that right now. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.